Okay, this is Love and Sparkles. We tried this yesterday, I believe it was. And I'm updating my head. And I did a whole hour. And lo and behold, it only recorded 15 minutes. So we're trying this again. So this is Cindy with Love and Sparkles. I hope you are having a fantabulous week. I am working on the Once in a Blue Moon Hade. My pad sure does make it where you can't see. There we go. I'll just work with that the black pad for a little while or try to. Um, you see, what's new in my world? Well, my son came up and we got all the hoses out where they needed to go. We got the old hold hosers disconnected because those were the roll-up kinds. And I'm sending him home with those next week when he comes up to deer hunt. And we put out, because I had bought the kind that you just kind of jab in the ground and roll the hose over. And so we put those up. Um, I did my drawings for the weekly giveaway. And Karen Srednicki won the weekly giveaway and Atlanta Earnhardt 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 something like that won the uh, me please because you know that was a Ouija board cover minder and I wasn't just going to throw that in someone's box you know because some people are just kind of funny about Ouija boards I myself don't like them either I know you got to you got to do a lot of protection with them, and you got to open stuff, and you got to close stuff, and you got to make sure that you do it right. Or you could end up with something you don't want, which I guess I don't like them because when I was a teenager, my aunt was playing around one, and she ended up with something that she really didn't want because she wasn't putting protections on, and she wasn't, you know, doing it the way you're, she wasn't being respectful of it, I should say. I'm very respectful of it, and i just go ahead and just leave it alone. So that went, I put it up as a me please on my, um, my event uh, video. And she won that. And then Sarah Bryce won the weekly, which is a pop socket. Now next week's weekly randoms is, um, Gonna be one little thing, but it's gonna also be. I'm gonna put them together. Two, three, four, five. I'm gonna put them together, and it's a gift certificate and something little. One, two, three, four, and. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. And so that's what next week's will be. It'll either be a Diamond Drills USA gift certificate or a DP the Sparklers gift certificate gift certificate. It'll be one of those two. Um, so all the packages for this week's winners are put away. They are done. And uh, Amber is supposed to be having the weekly whip and chat this week. And then the last week I'll have one, and I'm gonna try to get Rose Profit in here, so it'll be one with Rose Profit. Um, and we sat there, me and the kids today. Uh, we went ahead and made up the grand prize box because I moved everything over and needed a bigger box, so we got that done up, packaged up. That one's a pretty impressive little box. Um, I have the pin, the DP gal pin said I need to get a hold of Amber and get the names because she's been tracking those for the subbing so that I can get that out. And let me see, is there anything else that's got to go out? My little mailman is just getting the work out. This time I just put it in the box and put the little red thing up because it fit in the box, uh, mailbox. I'm getting better at the packaging. I did have to end up 
because I forgot to put something in the box for Karen. So I had to refund the pirate ship and I haven't got the refund back, but hopefully that'll go through in the next day or so and pop back up. And because I'm new to this pirate ship thing. That's a whole new whole new experience. And got everything in boxes put up. I'm starting to finally get my table back because it was just loaded. Loaded, loaded, loaded. And let me see. I mean, these are my first giveaway, so the prices are so so, you know, but it's not just one item. It's you get a nice box worth. So that's not too bad. And let me see, what else? Oh my dogs. My dogs are fine. They're all laying around snoozing. Break in doggy was knocking on my door at three o'clock in the morning, so I got up to let her in. Three o'clock in the morning, and out there knocking at my door. At least I've taught her to not knock instead of break in. And she just went home not too long ago. She was here all night and most of the day, and then came back when the kids came up. And now she just now went back home. So she's she's been hanging out. And my Lady of the Forest picture. Oh, my Lord, people. It is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous with all the changes I've been making in it. They are just awesome to die for. They are gorgeous. And I'm almost, I'm down to the very bottom of the skirt. So I think my next row I'll be able to start doing the curls. Because it's one of those that is confetti, but it's also color blocking. It's like the confetti is like three and four, so you can put down three or four at a time. It's just you got to change your color a lot. It's, it's nowhere near this, this kind of confetti to where it's like one here, one there, one everywhere. So I'm used to this kind of confetti, which is god awful. Um, don't forget to go to Nix's live tonight. If you have been posting on her Phoenix and Fantasy Whipping Chat Wednesday, where you post your pictures, she'll have the giveaway for it tonight. Um, she has quite a few giveaways every weekend, and um, it's a lot of fun. And they usually last, they used to last for nine, ten hours, but now they're like six, five or six. And she calls them, which I can't say that I blame her because talking for that long, you kind of kind of run out of steam. I kind of start running out after an hour. Now that I've got my hose wrapped up over here by the house, I can put more rocks on. So I'll probably get another load of rocks up and going. See what we get out of it. I see one, but it's not there. I know what it is. Oh, because I hadn't done those. I don't know why it's saying those are done. Those are not done. So we'll go over here and we'll click on it. And click on there and get rid of that because those are not done. We're doing these. There we go. Those are done. That's done. That's done. I was like, what? <laughs> Confusing me. And let me tell you, on this sucker, er, e, yeah, you don't need no help with the confusion, because I have a couple of times put it the whole wrong page in the wrong spot. And this time I was smart. I went back and I, I made it small so I could see exactly where I was at before I made it big to start going again. So I was like, yeah, no, no, no. We do not want to do that again. I've done that a couple of times and had to rip out thousands. And then I have to buy them back because then I'm like short. 
So I'm having to buy more drills. And I'm tired of buying drills for this thing. And I still think there might be a color I might have to. But I'm hoping it's pretty a pretty prominent color that you get a lot of leftovers. And I'm going to check my spares and see if by any chance I have it in my spares. Because that's a, a definite possibility. If not, it may even be in the, um, it might even be on my one day at the office, or a bad day at the office. Because as soon as I finish my event picture, I'll go back to working on it. You know, because I really would like to get that one done. And I just gave away my Capture with Radiance one that I had done with the little dragon. And I gave it to my daughter-in-law's girlfriend as a Christmas present from me and my daughter-in-law. Because it was in front of my fireplace, so I kind of had to remove it because I didn't want to catch it on fire. And I was like, well, would she like it? Because it was on, uh, I usually put them on some kind of frame and then I will put them up in my house for a while and then I want to put something new up and so I'll give them away. I'm thinking about maybe start doing some craft, you know, the festivals, fairs, and see if maybe I can sell them and at least try to get the cost of them back because a lot of people they love the pictures and but they're like oh no I can't do that I, I just can't do that there's no way I can do that so they love the pictures they want the pictures but they don't want to do the pictures and so I had thought about like doing some of the craft fairs that pop up you know the festival kind of things and just Take the ones I have, you know, down on stretch canvas or whatever, you know, and see what I can get out of them. Because maybe I can get at least what I've spent on them. And that would be nice. And then someone gets a nice picture. So, that's always an option. And I got a girlfriend that, you know, signed up under me when I did Color Street. But now she does the Color Street. And so... I told her, I said, when you go to do events, let me know, and I may go with you, you know, keep you company, hang out, but also take some of my paintings. And so she's like, yeah, that's a good idea. So we've actually thought of that. To where I might actually just kind of go along with her and take some paintings and, and do that. But... Yeah, everything with me is in a much better place um, for you. It's Mental Health Awareness Month. So people who have, um, they know, they you know, if you have them, you know. Um, even if you don't have a therapist, get a friend. Get a friend who will at least listen to you and talk with them. And, you know, at least be able to get your feelings out and, and basically... What you do is, once you get them out there and you know what your demons are, start working on them. You know, face them. Say, okay, this is what bothers me. This is what it causes. And try to work on it. And that's what I've been doing. It does. It takes a while, but it does help. It, it really does. Talking goes a long way. Feeling heard goes a long way. Um... Everyone is welcome here. You're welcome to hang out. We, you know, I'm going to start doing lives again. And you can talk whatever. I have no restrictions. You know, so if it's something that you feel like needs to be addressed or talked about, talk about it. You know, because sticking heads in the ground, playing ostrich, does not solve anything. 
that's I think a lot of what's wrong with the world nowadays. Everyone wants to play ostrich. And it's like, oh, I don't like it. So I'm pretend like it's just not here. But that doesn't solve the problem because it is there. And it doesn't make it go away. And it just kind of grows and gets bigger. And so you got to face them. Got to, you know, address them. And get over them. You know, well, you may not get over them, but learn how to deal with them. And everybody's got their demons. I don't care who you are, everybody's got them. You know, some kind. I mean, everybody's got them. My poor dog's out of them right now because right now it's hunting season. And I have one that kind of looks like a, a small deer when he's out running around. And so, I'm not letting them out right now to run. They're having to stay in the fenced yard because I don't want them to get shot. I don't want someone to shoot them saying, oh, I thought it was deer. And he's not happy because he likes to go out and, and roam the woods and, you know, chase all the critters. And But usually, from about this time of year until January, when season's over, I swear... I have dropped two things so far, and they're not easy to get, but until season's over, he's kind of locked down in the backyard, and he don't like it. None of them, the two bigger ones don't, because they like to go run and bark and, you know, terrorize bears and everything else. I've actually got the big one sat out there one night and we got it on the camera where he sat out there and terrorized the daggum bear and the bear sat there and was growling at him. It was like, yo, these dogs are dumb. So it's like, yeah. You know, at least the bear, you know, just sits there and growls at him and it's like, stay away from me and they both end up in their own little corner. And supposedly there is tons of deer this year. My brother's got cameras up on both sides, my side and his side. And he said there is just tons of pictures of... He said my side is mostly doe. His is a mixture. But he said there is a lot of them. So, evidently... They're out gathering up for the winter because I really think that this winter is going to be a um, there. Someone on a site I saw did 25 persimmon seeds and out of 25 persimmon seeds, 25 had spoons, which is supposed to indicate a lot of snow. So evidently it's supposed to snow. So today I had my son when he was up here, we started up the generator and um, let it run for about 15, 20 minutes just to, you know, charge it up a little, get it running, make it where it won't be so hard to start. And then that way we got it to where if it, the power does go out, all I got to do is just grab it and haul it out to the power pole and shut off the main power to the house and plug it in and use it for the main power. Because there's some switch that you switch when you plug it in that's over the plug. And then when you pull it off the plug, where you can get to the plug, it actually turns off the main breaker to the house. And then it starts running off that plug, which is the uh, generator. And that generator is so big that it runs the heat, the refrigerator, the freezer, a TV... A microwave and a coffee pot. I mean, it's huge. Big one. I don't know how we got so lucky, but the year we bought that, it was like a special. And it's like a whole house, 900 something, that will run just all that. And we got it for like $500. I mean, we got it for a really phenomenal deal. And so I just sit there and 
since like Wednesday, it's supposed to be barely getting out of the 50s. It's 80 something today. Tomorrow's like 70. And then after that, it goes down to in the 50s. It goes like a mega 60s and then down to 50. It's like, really? And then it starts roller coasting back, back up. It's like the weather here was just. Mother Nature has lost her flipping mind. But that doesn't surprise me. I guess if I was Mother Nature and as much as we've done to Mother Earth, I'd lose my flipping mind too. So we see where we at. We're doing okay. And. And basically, I know you can't see my tablet. This is my tablet. And there's my pattern. That's the, the pattern I'm following. And I just go to each, it's not every, every symbol. And I do it by symbol. I click on symbol, and then that pulls up the color I need. And then I go get the color and put it in. And like I said, when I pulled this up and over, I have one spot that lost a diamond, and it's a light blue, at least I know that much. But I can't get it to go in it with it folded over, so I'm gonna have to, when I get done with the flipping thing, I'm gonna have to pull it and put it on the ground and go through and find any missing diamonds and put them in and roll them in real good. And then uh, me and my son were talking about it, and we was like, there's some, I can't remember what kind of wood it is, but it's real thin, real thin. It's thinner than plywood. It's real thin. You can actually cut it with, like, pruning shears. But um, getting a big piece of that and gluing it down and rolling it and gluing it down. And then getting floor trim, you know, corner, you know, floor trim, and miter the corners of the floor trim and attach it to it to make a frame and then just kind of put three or four holding brackets on the back to hold it to the wall but yeah we've been starting to think of how to frame it because i mean literally right now i'm working on a 30 by 40 area and then i'll have three more areas that are 30 by 40 and it'll be done i mean i'm down to I'm, I'm like less than, I'm like at 29.8% left, or 29.8% left. So I'm getting down there. I'm, I'm getting on the downhill spiral, I think, good lord. That way I can put something else on this table. And I can probably work on something that'll actually fit the real table and then take this plywood part and put it in the uh, shed out there and just pull it out if I do another big monstrosity. Because this, the board I'm working on was specifically made for this picture because it was so big it hung over on the corners and was tearing up the corners of the picture. So those that have diamond art um, drafting tables and your pictures hanging off on the corners just get plywood and make a little lip on the bottom and plop it up there and then you can put your picture on it. And that's literally what we did. Just got a big piece of plywood, cut it in half to make it to where this thing was wide enough. I wish I hadn't had to seal it because it makes it crunchy, but these reels were popping so bad there was no way to get around it. No way to get around it. But at least it's still shiny. It's got the shiny, which is mostly what matters. got the sparkly shine. <clears throat> I 
and my daughter-in-law was like, wow. You know, because they've looked at this picture being on this thing for a year and ten and a half months. So they were totally amazed. You know, because it has been literally a part of the living room for that long. And I'm thinking by Christmas, I might be done with it. It might actually be done by then. And I'm trying to do 1,200 drills a day minimum. If I can do 1,200 drills minimum a day, you know, that gets a pretty good little piece of it done. But I made someone's day, you know. I gave them that that fairy that had the dragon sitting on her neck that I did a few months ago. I gave that away. They are ecstatic. They're waiting for my daughter-in-law to get home with bated breath. They're like, yes, 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 yes. And last night, I dropped my, um, my whole canvas fell off my A2 light board, the whole thing. And, uh, one of my Elizabeth Ward containers that had the 814 or 816, whatever it was I was using in the hair, flew out, and I have yet to find that container. It'll turn up, but it's like, really? Where could you have gone? You're white. You're little. You know, where could you have gone? It's amazing how stuff like that can just go poof and just disappear. I don't know if anyone else has that problem. I still haven't found my um, Versa 2 that I had put on the bathroom counter. Went to bed, went back to get it the next morning, and it was not there, and I have yet to find that thing. I ended up having the, they were having a sale on them, and I ended up buying another one. I was like, for real, I have yet to find one. I did get my old printer that went home with my grandson, because I told him, I said, take that home for him, and he can use it when he has book reports and stuff, because I said, it'll work if you fight, you know, fire wire it in, but it just will not pick up a, it's supposed to be wireless, but it just will not pick up a wireless right now for some reason. I tried putting it in by the IP address, everything, and it just was not going to do it. And so I was just like, oh, I end up, and of course I needed a printer so I could print the shipping labels and the gift certificates, and so I ended up having to buy a new printer just so I could print that stuff. No, you Amazon been loving me. I did find my sprocket though, guys. Did find my sprocket. Because I'm going to go ahead and make an actual um, DP journal. And I was going to do like Add More Zest does and take sprocket pictures. And use sprocket pictures to, you know, put in there and put what you did and, you know, stuff like that. And so... And I knew I had one. I just, and I knew I threw it in one of my bags back when I was working in the calf lab. But I didn't know what the bag looked like. I didn't have a clue. So I went in my closet and there's all these bags on the ground. And I'm like, okay, it's got to be in one of these. And so I sat there last night and dug and dug and dug and dug. And I found my sprocket, guys. And then I looked around some more and I found my sprocket film. So, at least I don't have to buy any of that. Because that's been my most horrible problem. Is I'll know I have it. I mean, I will know I have it. But I can't remember where I put it. Or what I did with it. And so then it's like, you buy more and then you find it. It's very aggravating. 
So I was so, so, so relieved when I actually found it and found it before I repurchased it. It was like, yay, yay me. It was like one of those, go me. So I now have it because, you know, Diamond Art Club sends you the little bitty pictures, but they're about the only ones that do. You know, so unless you want to use a big giant picture or something like that, you know, you didn't have a whole lot of choice. Whereas now, you know, you can do the little sprocket, which only gives you a two by three picture. And it's got a, it's sticky on the back, so it'll stick right down in your DP journal. And you can actually send the picture to it. Like, out of your thing, you can download pictures to it. So that's kind of cool. And of course, my granddaughter was running around taking pictures of her husband and her her son while she was, you know, we were getting it set up and turned back on. So, and I was like, hey, that film is expensive. I will probably go to QVC to see if they have film there because I know it didn't cost as much as it is on Amazon. It couldn't have. Or at least they have bundles or something because, man, on Amazon, that stuff is like crazy expensive. I mean, crazy, crazy expensive. Like I said, I found my film. So I've got four or five packages of film that I bought with it when I bought it. And I had bought it, you know, to make like drill or nail things. So, yeah. And guys, let me tell you, this grand prize winner, this box is big. It's big. It is huge. It is huge. The other ones are not that huge. This one is huge. No. I think it was this one. I missed one. Okay. And this is what I do, guys. This one is the hardest one to do because you're always leaning up. You're always having to lean into it. You're always having to follow the, the pattern. It's just... I'm glad my other Heaven and Earth designs already had the pattern on them. They're from the Crown Jewels area. There is an area on Heaven and Earth that you go to and it says Crown Jewel Canvases. And they are diamond paintings. They already have the pattern printed on them. You can get them however you want. Pour glue, you know, DSA, double-sided tape, whatever. And, but they don't have drills. You have to, you know, get your own drills. But the rest of mine are like that. So at least it has the pattern on it. And now I've done enough that I think I may have enough drills saved up that I can do them to. One is a cat with a crystal ball in front of like a a castle window, and the other one's a bunch of kitty cats set the kit in the kitchen in front of a bunch of bottles and bubbles. So they're really cute. I mean, they are really cute. <laughs> they're also big too. They also be big too. I don't do very many. I first started with little canvases. Then I worked up 
And now what I try to do is in between a big canvas, I try to pull one of my little ones and at least work them up just to get them worked up. Come on, give it to me. And of course, you know, with your boom with these, and like I said, these come from all over. Now I know where, like I got them from Cooper's Diamonds. And then of course she didn't send the right stuff. So then I had to buy some from Diamond Drills USA and a couple other places. So they're from different suppliers. They're from different areas. And so uh, they, don't sit the best. And of course, like with diamonds and washi, I don't know if you've watched hers. And she finally gave up on her big one like this and cut it, made it, got a new one and cut it in panels and stuff. But with this picture, it wouldn't look good as panels. It really wouldn't. This one was like, you have to do it as the whole thing because it just wouldn't be good as panels. I mean, I would have had to cut her face in half. So it was like, yeah, learning experience. You know, don't buy something that's bigger than you are. Which is about what this one is. I think it's like four inches shorter than me. You know, and a couple feet wider than me. So it's like, yeah. But this is the Haid. This is a Heaven and Earth design. It is on double-sided adhesive, which I do not care for at all. Because, like, when I get in here where all this is at, I'll have to do the, the cut the bubbles and lay it down and all that otherwise it won't do right i mean you can fix them but it's a lot of work a lot of work and you can feel it if it's got a bubble in it you can feel it it's kind of got lips and it's usually where it's peeled up come up you know, and of course this canvas has been moved around. I've been working on it for almost two years, so, yeah. I know. I was going to say, where did I just pull that out of? And for some reason, my little tray just does not want to stay in my lap. Keep sliding off. 503, where is 503? That's not a cover I have worked much with. Yeah, I think there's 28 left. After I do this one, it'll be 27 left in the entire pitcher. I mean, the entire pitcher will have seven of that color left. Now, because this counts them down, so you'll know exactly what you have left. Don't know where, but you know how many. And sometimes, like when I'm just pulling one, I just pull them out of the lid. I just put them in the lid, pull them from the lid. Because like right now, it's just like, just doing one. And one, and one. Like that one has four in that whole 600 drill spot. Make sure I get the bottom there it goes. And one right there. And one goes right there. And one goes right there. 
So in that 600, there's four. Four. Four little itty bitty. And five. That is one. And it's got 65 left. And this is how I know that I was given the wrong, the wrong beads for the wrong kit. I think they did the mini instead of the max. You know, I told her max. Because I'm only supposed to have 65 drills left. And that is not 65 drills. So, and then on ones that I have none or very little, I don't have any. You know, it's like... She did the one that is like 90 colors instead of... And she kept resending me that one. And I was like, no, I paid you this much for this. And and she's like, oh, yeah. And so finally I told her what colors I was missing. And so she sent some to me, but it wasn't the amounts that I needed. And I finally just got tired of messing with it and just went and purchased more. And was like, next time I won't use that company. Evidently... So some people say they have a great service, and not me. <laughs> and I was like, I'm done. Peace out. And now I'm like, to me, this is the boring part of this picture, because it's just mobs and well I think the waterfall will be cool but mobs and stuff until I get over to the king and queen then when I get over to them it gets kind of interesting and again but right now it's just a bunch of big moss which I guess if you like moss that's cool but you know it's not even like they're pretty butterflies they're just big moss But at least it was like, oh yeah, I know exactly where I'm at on this. And then one more left. Right here. Because you can go to the main picture and pull it up and see exactly where it is. And I'm going to try to go to one hour and then cut it sh cut it down. But, uh, yeah, it was very nice. My brother even came over today, and he was like, can my dog come in? And I was like, yeah, your dog comes in all the time. <laughs> he was like, what? And I was like, yeah, she's always over here. Well, so when you're gone and Dad comes over, he brings all the dogs. They follow him, and he was just, like, all upset, you know, because last time when I was over at Dad's, he literally grabbed my dog by the collar and chunked it out the door. Well, you know, my dogs are just like that. When Dad goes, comes over here, they all follow him. Well, when I go over there, they all follow me. And so I told my brother, I was like, you know, whenever you're not here and Dad comes over, your dog is in my house, and I don't do that to your dog. And so he's gotten a little, little better. You know, and then plus, whenever something fun, it does happen to my dad because he's 78. He's he's getting older and he's starting to, you know, get a little peaked looking around the gills. And so we know that it's coming. You know, we don't know when, but we know it's coming because he's, we can see the signs. And so when he leaves for his week to go to work, He's going to have to have someone watch his dog. And since Dad's not going to be there to watch his dog, you know, I guess I'm going to be it. So he needs to kind of be nice to my dogs if you want me to watch your dog. Kind of turnabout's fair play kind of thing. And on 
I'm, on YouTube. Has anyone else noticed that your YouTube numbers will go up by four or five and then down by one? Like, overnight, poof, you lose one. It's like, what's the deal there? They just decide, oh no, that person really didn't want to friend you, so we're going to take it off. I think it's like, really? But I don't, I, I just don't even really why it. It does what it does. It'll get there eventually. Um, I finally hit 237, which I'm immensely proud of because for about a month there, I got to where I was just not doing a whole lot because I just, if I'm in a headspace where I'm not good company for myself, I'm not going to subject anyone else to me, which was kind of how I was. And then one day I woke up and it was like, wow. What's this? This is new. I told my, my therapist, I was like, this was new. I said, I felt happy. I said, it's been so long since I felt happy. I actually forgot what happy felt like. He goes, well, what caused it? I said, I honestly don't know, but I hope I figure it out so I can do it again. But it was really nice, guys, to, to feel happy. Not just to feel like, okay, so, so, I mean, yeah. But no, actually feel happy. It was a, such a nice feeling. So, it, it gets there. It takes time. It takes work. It's not easy. You have to face a lot of things. You have to work through a lot of things. But it can be done. Like with my sleeping, um, I was told to, since I have a problem with my anxiety, starts when I lay flat, which we finally figured out was from when I was on the ventilator for that week and a half and, you know, was hallucinating them bugs. And he says, um, instead of laying flat, prop a pillow up, you know, prop the pillow and then you know, start lowering it gradually. And so that's what I've been doing, and I said it's doing better. So once you figure out what it is, then you know how to start working on it. And then once you start working on it, that's that's 50% of it right there. That is the biggest part, is the working on part. Hell no, hell no, you're not rolling off my lap. I don't know why it wants to just keep rolling off my lap. And I found with this one, I squeezed so hard that I squished my poor Nyx trays to death. So I just used this crappy tray over here because I'm in squeeze mode. And squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. So I just do that. Speaking of Nick, she'll be on in a few hours. She comes on at 8 Eastern time, which is 7 my time. So she'll be on in like 3 hours. I was going to have my son move my clock forward while he was here, but he said he'd be back for hunting before the time changed. So I was like, okay. Because he said he's coming up early in the morning, Saturday. And then I got to go to his place in the afternoon Saturday and go by and pick up my other grandkids because my grandson's birthday party is then. And his other grandparents are in. 
So that's kind of cool. But my granddaughter can't come because she's at a Girl Scout event. And so I just told my daughter, I was like, well, I'll just come by and pick up the boys. You know, because I bought the banana mobile, I bought a, a three row Acadia, and it actually will fit all the grandkids at one time in it. I know, because I've done it a couple times. And so it's like, yeah. I'll go by and pick up those two. And then, of course, my granddaughter's gotten big enough. She can sit in the front seat, which she was ecstatic about. Because in her car, she ends up in the third row. And I've ridden in the third row of her car or her van. And um, let me tell you, that thing beat the snot out of you. It literally beats the snot right out of you. When we went to Branson, I sat back there, and it set off my sciatica from all the bouncing and, you know, bouncing you up and down and slamming you down in the seat and all that crap. I was like, holy crud. And I will probably only get these 600 done today because before Nick's... When Nix comes on, I'll probably go on to my event canvas and work on it because I can do it on the couch and get comfy and make a cup of tea and do that. And let me see, is there anything else now? I'm going to start doing more updates on this so you can see the progress. If you go back to the very first one in the playlist, you can see where I was way back then, and it's amazing because you can see the progress on it. I think I was back up before I even had all the wolves done and stuff. So it's pretty awesome to go back that far and see it. Now, if anyone has any questions on how to do the calculations, I can look those up again because um, you have to convert it you have to take the cross stitch design and convert it and do the math to figure out even what size canvas you need and then um, once you buy the pattern it'll tell you how many drills and how many of what color because it'll say stitches but the stitches are basically your drills so um, basically your canvas is the only thing that will be different because you have to calculate it for a diamond painting instead of for a cross stitch. So you take, what you do is you take the size, like if it's 604 stitches across, you times it by 0 0.254, which is basically... Um, the same as a square, you know, like a square drill is 2.54. Well, then you times it by 0 0.254, and that'll give you how many centimeters <laughs> you need for canvas. And don't be forgetting that zero, or you'll be buying an ocean size canvas and let me see and then like I said on the the pattern once you purchase it it'll literally tell you you know like 200 of this color drill and 10,000 of this color drill and yes I had I think 939 for this one was 40,000 so, yeah, but it'll tell you for each one. I mean, some of mine were like 10. And I was like, really? And of course, you know, you get them in packets of 200. So for 10 drills, you buy, have to buy 200.
but then of course you'll have spares for another you know either if you run out of some which I have ran out I've had kits where I have ran out of a color either it had so much trash in it or they just miscalculated I think it was a uh, fairy dust fairies um, no um, the dragon that's in the bathtub well I ran out of a color and I had to contact them and they had to send me like two or three bags of it because it was quite a bit it was quite a bit of a color all right two three okay so let those get down and see right there are some of those little areas and I can take the pin sometimes and just take the corner of it and take them out okay and then there's only this piece of okay that's supposed to be only two left That one was up one, it needs to come down one, down one, and down one. I was up one too far. And down one. Okay. And down one. got off, but I was off all the way across. There we go. And then that one goes down one, down one. I was just off by a whole row all the way across. There we go. Now it's fixed. Now it's fixed. Oh, oh my God. Oh yeah, see I was off. I thought I was at the bottom and I was one row up. So I've got to go down and move all these down to where they belong. And once they get stuck in a spot, they like to be there. Cannot believe I got one whole row off. This is how you fix what you mess up. Oh, come on, move. <sighs> okay. fixed. Lord Almighty, that hurt my hand. But they're fixed. As 
because they literally were off one whole row. And that concludes our hour. So I have fixed my mess up. Um, next time you see me, I will have finished that area. And y'all have a blessed weekend. You have a wonderful day. Wonderful day. And I will see you at a later date. Hit subscribe. Hit like. Um, tell your friends. If you have friends that are interested in watching Hades or unboxings or anything of that sort, have them come hang out with me. Because I am back in the groove. Yes. See y'all later. Bye.